This is a video on confusion metric. Example 6. The confusion metric of the model used to predict whether a patient is at risk of getting heart disease in example 3 above is reproduced below. Upgrade the accuracy, error rate, sensitivity, specificity, precision, and recall. Are the results consistent with those given by the line above? So here is the confusion metric. What this confusion metric, metric means? Over here, the column represents the predicted by the machine, whereas the row are the actual. That means that actually the file has all these records and the machine actually keep those records for evaluation. Now I reproduce the confusion metric here. First, let's do some counting. We count the actual number of nodes 26 plus 5, 31. Actual number of yes is 12 plus 18 is 30. Total will be 61. Then you count that the number predicted no heart disease by the machine is 26 plus 12 is 38. And the total number predicted by the machine to have heart disease is 5 plus 18 is 23. Total again is 61. Now we shall examine the accuracy of the machine. This is defined as the number of correct predictions over total number of predictions. From this confusion metric, there are 26 cases of no heart disease and predicted no heart disease as well. So they are predicted correctly. And then there are 18 cases, actual case with heart disease and predicted also 18 cases of them correctly. So all together, this is 26 plus 18 our total of 61. And so this is 44 over 61. So the accuracy is 72.131%. And you also can talk about the error rate. So error rate is equal to one minus zero point seven two one three one that twenty seven point eight six nine percent. So this is actually the ratio of these three number here. Next, we will look at sensitivity. This is the probability of those predicted positive given that it is actually positive. So over here we have 18 cases predicted positive out of total of actual cases which are positive. And these two number together we have eighteen out of thirty, which is sixty percent. 
this is what is sensitivity. Next, we look at next we look at specific felicity, which is which is a probability of predicted negative, that is no heart disease, given the probability that the patient has no heart disease. And in this case, the predicted number of patients who has no heart disease negative here is 26. Out of the total, which is actually has no heart disease is 31. And this ratio is equal to 26 over 31 is equal to which is 83.9 percent. Next, let's look at precision. This is a probability of positive given predicted positive. We are looking for the probability that has actually have heart disease and then given that the prediction that they have heart disease. All this information is captured inside here. We have 18 actually have disease but the prediction have 23 of them have heart disease. So this is actually 18 out of 23. So if I use color code and this is called precision and and this is equal to 0 0.783 which is 78.3 percent finally recall is the same as sensitivity so this is equal to 60 percent The final part of the question is asking you to check the line result. Are they consistent with the line result? So we examine the line result. This is the workflow of predicting heart disease. And we look at the scholar. Go to the very end. Accuracy statistic. Then you will find that accuracy is 0 0.721, 72.1%, and specific facility is 0 0.839, which is 83.9%. Sensitivity is 0 0.6 or 60%. Precision is 0 0.783 and recall 0 0.6, 60%. Okay, let's see the confusion metric as in the case. You can see the confusion metric is the same as the one here. So, Let's finish the example.